Amid shifting global dynamics, 28 countries have aligned with BRICS, sparking intrigue and questions about the future of global partnerships and economic influence. Vestia, a prominent Russian newspaper, has obtained an extensive list of 28 countries interested in joining BRICS, either as full members or partner states. This information was disclosed by the representatives of a delegation from one of the member countries. During the BRICS Foreign Ministerial Council in Nizhny Novgorod last week, the president of the USA may indeed have reasons to pay attention to this development. The joining of 28 countries to BRICS creates a formidable block with significant economic and military potential. This alliance could potentially reshape the global power dynamics, influencing international trade, security arrangements, and geopolitical strategies. While immediate concerns may vary depending on existing alliances and diplomatic relations, the emergence of such a bloc warrants careful consideration and strategic recalibration in American foreign policy to maintain influence and manage potential challenges. The joining of 28 countries to BRICS does not necessarily mean that the USA is outplayed on the world stage outright. It does, however, underscore a shift in global landscape, where alliances and partnerships are evolving. BRICS itself comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa has grown in influence over the years, particularly in economic and geopolitical spheres. For the USA, this development may prompt a reassessment of its strategies and engagements with both traditional allies and emerging blocs like BRICS. American influence remains significant across various dimensions – economic, military, technological and cultural – and its response to global shifts involving navigating complex, diplomatic and strategic considerations. Ultimately, whether the USA is outplayed depends on how it adapts to these changes maintains its leadership positions and navigates relationship in a multipolar world. In this video, we will identify all 28 countries and explore their potential contributions to BRICS, aiming not only to expand its membership, but also to bolster its capacity and influence in the global economy and international affairs, and what USA should do in response. The decision of 28 countries to join BRICS would likely be motivated by the bloc's collective economic strength offering substantial trade and investment opportunities. BRICS represents a formidable economic force, comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa with significant market size, natural resources and industrial capabilities. For these additional nations, aligning with BRICS could provide access to a vast consumer market, diversified investment opportunities and potential economic growth through initiatives like the New Development Bank and cooperative infrastructure projects. Geopolitically, joining BRICS could offer a platform to challenge the Western hegemony, promoting a multipolar world order and fostering solidarity among countries seeking an alternative to traditional global power structures. Moreover, BRICS's emphasis on mutual development, South-South cooperation and reforming global governance resonates with countries eager to assert their interests on the international stage while diversifying their diplomatic and economic partnerships. Let's begin with Iran. As of 2022, Iran's GDP was approximately $18.8 billion, predominantly driven by its oil and gas sector, which constitutes around 90% of the country's exports. Major exports include mineral fuels and oils, accounting for 92.5% of the total exports, followed by fruits, nuts, plastics, vegetables, aluminum, cotton, fertilizers and gems. Moving to Bolivia, as of 2023, the country's GDP was around $49.3 billion, largely supported by its natural resources. Important exports which demonstrate its rich mineral and agricultural resources are natural gas, gold, zinc, silver and soy products. Natural gas and gold alone contribute significantly to Bolivia's export revenue, with petroleum gas valued at $3.8 billion and gold at $3.1 billion. Bolivia's major export destinations include India, Brazil, Argentina, Japan and Colombia. Honduras, with a GDP of approximately $31.7 billion in 2022, has an export-driven economy totaling $13.1 billion. Key export items include knitted or crocheted clothing and accessories $4.4 .4 billion, coffee, tea and spices $1.7 billion, and electrical machinery and equipment $1.3 billion. 
Other notable exports comprise animal and vegetable fats, oils, waxes, as well as fruits and nuts. Morocco's GDP in 2022 was approximately $13.91 billion, reflecting a diverse economy with significant contributions from various sectors. Morocco's top exports totaled $46.7 billion in 2022, led by fertilizers $7.7 .7 billion, vehicles $6.3 billion, electrical machinery and equipment $6 billion, and clothing and accessories of $2.7 billion. Other notable exports include inorganic chemicals, fruits, nuts, vegetables, salt, sulfur, stone, cement, and fish. Cuba recorded a GDP of approximately $17.35 billion in 2020, characterized by a predominantly state-controlled economy with significant contributions from exports amounting to around $1.9 billion in 2022. Key exports include rolled tobacco $275 million, nickel mats $163 million, zinc ore $127 million, hard liquor $12 million, and raw sugar $67.2 million. These products are primarily shipped to countries such as China, Spain, Germany, Portugal, and Switzerland. Cuba benefits from its abundant natural resources and traditional agricultural staples like tobacco and sugar. Kuwait's GDP in 2022 stood at approximately $175.3 billion, with its economy heavily dependent on the oil sector. Mineral fuels, including oil, constitute 94.5% of Kuwait's total exports valued at $85.5 billion. Other significant exports include organic chemicals $2.3 billion, plastics and plastic articles $861.8 million, as well as smaller quantities of aircraft, spacecraft, salt, sulfur, stone, and cement. Iraq, Saudi Arabia, China, India, and United Arab Emirates are Kuwait's main export markets. Uganda's GDP reached approximately $49 billion in 2022, supported by a diverse economy with significant contributions from agriculture, which employs about 68% of the workforce and contributes 24% to the GDP. Key agricultural exports include coffee $753 million, fish products $69.5 million, raw sugar $61.7 million, and cocoa beans $60 million. Gold is Uganda's leading export product, generating $1.92 billion in 2022. The service sector, particularly transportation, tourism, and business services, contributes significantly to Uganda's GDP growth. Chad recorded a GDP of approximately $13.67 billion in 2022, predominantly driven by the oil sector, which accounted for 95.3% of its total exports valued at $3.7 billion. Other significant exports include oil seeds $114.1 million, cotton $31.9 million, and gums and raisins $31 million. Germany, China, and the United Arab Emirates and France are Chad's main export destinations. The country's economy heavily relies on crude petroleum, highlighting the sector's critical role in Chad's economic stability. Sri Lanka's GDP in 2022 was approximately $88.7 billion, reflecting a diverse economy with significant contributions from various sectors. The country's top exports totaled $14.8 billion in 2022, with key products including knit or crochet clothing and accessories $3.4 billion, non-knit clothing and accessories $2.1 billion, tea $1.29 billion, gems and precious metals $399 million, and rubber and rubber-related products $1 billion. The United States, India, the United Kingdom, Germany, and Italy are primary export destinations critical to Sri Lanka's economy, particularly in the textile and apparel sectors. Equatorial Guinea's GDP reached approximately $12.03 billion in 2022, driven primarily by oil and gas sector, which constitutes over 80% of the country's GDP. In 2022, the top exports included crude petroleum $3.79 billion and petroleum gas $2.7 billion, alongside packaged medicaments, cars, and acyclic alcohols. The key export markets for Equatorial Guinea are Zambia, Spain, China, India, and Italy. Eritrea's GDP in 2022 was approximately $3.3 billion, heavily reliant on its mining sector. 
key exports included zinc ore $310 million, gold $263 million and copper ore $192 million, which together constitute the majority of the country's export revenue. Small-scale exports consist of apparel, drinks, equipment and medications. China, the United Arab Emirates, South Korea, Japan and Madagascar are Eritrea's main export markets. On the import side, major imports consisted of other sea vessels, sorghum, wheat, flour and other edible preparations, and refined petroleum primarily sourced from China, the United Arab Emirates, Turkey, the United States and India. South Sudan's GDP in 2022 was approximately $3.3 billion, predominantly driven by the oil sector, with crude petroleum accounting for 99.4% of the total exports, valued at $471 million. Other notable exports included refined petroleum $24 million, gold $20.4 million, forage crops $15.2 million and barley $2.98 million. Primary export destinations are China, Italy, Singapore, Japan and the United Arab Emirates. Major imports for South Sudan include cars, knit t-shirts, packaged medicaments, delivery trucks and knit men's suits. Sourced mainly from the United Arab Emirates, Kenya, China, the United States and India. Nigeria's GDP in 2022 was approximately $440 billion, heavily reliant on the oil and gas sector, which constitutes a significant portion of its exports. In 2022, Nigeria exported goods worth $7.7 billion, with crude petroleum $52.1 billion, petroleum gas $9.04 billion and nitrogenous fertilizers $2 billion as primary exports. On the import side, Major imports included refined petroleum $2.7 billion, wheat $3.03 billion, cars $1.24 billion, broadcasting equipment $852 million and vaccines and medical supplies $845 million, primarily sourced from China, Belgium, the Netherlands, India and the United States. Belarus maintains a positive trade balance in fertilizers and certain agriculture products underscoring its competitive advantages in these sectors. However, the country faces trade deficits in vehicles, machinery and electrical equipment, highlighting areas where imports significantly outweigh the exports. In 2022, Kazakhstan recorded a GDP of approximately $59.7 billion, primarily driven by its abundant natural resources. Total exports amounted to $98.7 billion with leading products including crude petroleum $47.6 billion, gold $9.73 billion, refined copper $3.8 billion, ferro alloys $3.29 billion and radioactive chemicals $2.85 billion. These exports were primarily directed to China, Italy, Russia, the United Kingdom and the Netherlands. Nicaragua's GDP reached approximately $15.67 billion in 2022, making it the 111th largest global exporter. Key Nicaraguan exports included knit or crochet clothing and accessories $1.5 billion, gold $763 million, electrical machinery and equipment $791 million, coffee and spices $717 million and meat $79 million. Other notable exports were tobacco products, fish, dairy products, and sugar. Syria recorded a GDP of approximately $8.97 billion in 2022, significantly impacted by the ongoing civil war and the international sanctions. Total exports were valued at $771 million, making Syria the 164th largest global exporter. Key export products include pure olive oil $140 million, Various nuts $43.8 million, calcium phosphates $43.2 million, raw cotton $34.2 million and spice seeds $29.1 million. Venezuela's 2022 GDP amounted to $51.3 billion, heavily reliant on petrol exports which totaled $4.3 billion. Primary export destinations included China and Turkey. Venezuela faces substantial challenges such as hyperinflation and political instability, despite its vast oil reserves. Bolivia's GDP in 2023 was around $49.3 billion, 
driven by key exports like natural gas valued at $3.8 billion and gold at $3.01 billion. Main export markets included India, Brazil and Argentina, highlighting Bolivia's economic strength derived from rich mineral and agricultural resources. Bahrain reported a GDP of $47.1 billion in 2022, with exports totaling $22.3 billion. Notable exports included raw aluminum at $4.75 billion and refined petroleum at $4.3 billion. Saudi Arabia and the UAE were major markets for Bahrain's exports, supported by a robust financial sector and ongoing diversification efforts. Zimbabwe's 2022 GDP stood at $27.37 billion, supported by exports totaling $8.41 billion. Gold accounted for $4.48 billion and tobacco for $835 million in exports. Key trading partners included the UAE and South Africa. Although Zimbabwe faces challenges such as trade deficits and reliance on a few commodities, Nicaragua recorded a GDP of $15.67 billion in 2022, with exports amounting to $7.92 billion. Top exports included clothing at $1.5 billion and gold at $763 million, primarily traded with the US and Mexico. Nicaragua's economy struggles with significant trade deficits and dependency on foreign assistance. Segal's 2023 GDP was $31.3 billion, with exports totaling $6.2 billion. Key exports included gold at $961 million and phosphoric acid at $846 million, primarily exported to Mali, India and Switzerland. Segal's economy is poised for growth driven by emerging oil and gas industries. Algeria's 2023 GDP reached $44.75 billion with exports valued at $58.6 billion. Major exports included petroleum gas at $27.4 billion and crude petroleum at $16 billion. With principal markets in Italy, Spain and France, Algeria faces challenges like high unemployment and dependence on hydrocarbons for economic stability. Thailand recorded a GDP of $526 billion, with exports reaching $312 billion. Notably, office machine parts accounted for $19.3 billion and cars for $10.8 billion, leading the export categories. Key trading partners included the United States, China and Japan, reflecting Thailand's diverse economy bolstered by robust industrial and agricultural sectors. What can the USA do in response? If 28 countries were to join BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, the United States might consider several strategic approaches. Number 1. Assessment of Impact Evaluate the economic and geopolitical implications of these new countries joining BRICS. Understand their motives and the potential shifts in global power dynamics. Number 2. Engagement with BRICS Strengthen diplomatic and economic ties with existing BRICS countries to understand their new coalition dynamics and potential agendas. Number 3. Maintain alliances. Strengthen alliances with traditional allies and regional partners to counterbalance the influence of an expanded BRICS bloc. Number 4. Economic competitiveness. Enhance US economic competitiveness through innovation technological advancements and trade agreements with other nations, including those outside of the BRICS. Number 5. Multilateral Approaches Engage in multilateral forums and organizations that offer alternative platforms for global cooperation and economic integration. Number 6. Regional Influence Strengthen engagement in regions where BRICS expansion could have a significant influence, such as in Africa, Latin America and parts of Asia. Number 7. Promotion of values. Uphold and promote democratic values, human rights and the rule of law globally, contrasting with potential authoritarian tendencies within some BRICS member states. Number 8. Strategic partnerships. Forge strategic partnerships with emerging economies not aligned with BRICS to ensure diversified global influence and economic ties. Number 9. Security and stability. Collaborate with allies and international organizations to maintain global security and stability, ensuring that geopolitical shifts do not lead to an instability. Number 10. Long-term planning. 
develop long-term strategies to adapt to a changing global landscape, including investments in education, infrastructure, and technology to maintain the economic competitiveness. By carefully assessing and adapting to changes brought about by the expanded BRICS alliance, the United States can continue to navigate the global challenges while leveraging its strengths in innovation, diplomacy, and strategic alliances. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate your presence. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Stay tuned.